Hello everyone, welcome to part 56 of Persona 5 Row with me, Fibidu. In the last part, we continued our confidant with our counselor and Akechi. I'm pretty sure we're still hiding because Sei has her targets on us. And that's something we need to worry about now. And that's exactly what we're going to continue doing in this episode. But it doesn't look like we can do anything, so I think I'm just going to make some hey. coffee. Brew some coffee, let's call Kawakami. Ooh, can I get her to do that for us? Hmm. It costs five thousand to call Kawakami over. You still want to do it? Yes. Yep. Let's call it over. Sure I forgot that we have that ability. Hi. Hi. This is Becky. I'm really sorry, but I'm off today, so she won't be able to do it. Oh, she will. Nice. We haven't seen her in a while, but we'll see her again sometime soon. I don't know. Hmm. So you just want me to make some coffee, right? Oh, <laughs> she's just there. I just hey. talked to her. Did you ask someone to brew you some coffee? Yes, I did ask her. Can I talk to her though? I'll handle the rest. Why don't you take care of something else? Whoa, pretty cool. I should have been doing that from now on. <laughs> Maybe we can do some training then. Oh, I have nothing else do to do. Sure, let's train. Literally have nothing else we could do. Okay, take protein. Wait. I got moist protein. Let's do that. Better than nothing. I don't have my imported protein, so I'll do this. All right. Gotta make some use All of right. our time here. Well, then. All right. Oh, <laughs> we're all tuckered out. Hi. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. The Blanc coffee. Nice. All right. See you later. 5,000 yen for that. Well, some SP is good. Oh, my goodness. I swear our popularity is going to go down to zero. Damned Phantom Thieves. Haven't they found the Phantom Thieves yet? The government and the police are useless. Are they even trying? I wish they wouldn't send tax dollars just to sit on their butts. A mysterious group of murderers and inept government. What's the world coming to these days? <sighs> Everyone's talking trash about us. Keep talking trash. We'll still save the world. You'll see. You'll all see. The police are here again? What are they looking for, for real? How many times has this been now? Our school's gotten famous for all the wrong reasons. They revoked her honor status? This school is so messed up. Oh, no. I wonder if the culprit really is from our school. Oh, we, we definitely are. I mean, it's kind of obvious, I feel like. No way, we still have exams. They were there today, too, right? Yeah, what do those damn cops think they are? They can't just stare us all down like that. Maybe the rumors are true. Maybe there's a phantom thief at our school. <gasps> Kawakami. Are there actually exams today? Okay, quiet down. The police are here at the school, so be sure not to get in their way. Oh, and for various reasons, the school festival got moved to the 25th. There was a talk of canceling it, but we couldn't just do that. I'm sure the preparations will be rough, but don't rush yourself too hard. Really? On a weekday? What kind of reasons are there? With all this stuff about the principal in Kamashita this year, I guess it's no surprise. Hmm, four more days. Okay, well that's the one last day to work on our confidant. That's no good. Apparently the police are going to be interrogating all of the students here. Dang all? Seriously? The police are at Shujin? They haven't come to my school. It seems they're calling students individually out of class to speak with them. Wait, does that mean we're going to get called in too? Second years will start in the afternoon. Make sure you prepare yourselves mentally for this. They've got to be looking for the culprit, right? Who knows? Be careful, guys. You should probably try to not say much. They'll see through any lies you might try telling. I know. In any case, don't tell them anything unnecessary. Anything unnecessary. Alright. Just answer their question. Ooh, we might well, fumble this. Well, next step is to Kamaki-san and... Maradoku. You two will go together. Huh? Why together? Why? They'll probably have one of you wait outside. That's how they've been doing it so far. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. Totally Those not are suspicious. the instructions the detectives gave us. Just don't say more than is necessary and try and get it over with quick. Thank you. It's like she's trying to help us. Take a seat. 
Oh no. Is there a right and wrong answer here? Mm, probably. We're sorry to take your time. This will be over quick. Let's see. Okay, Arado. Ah yes, you're the one currently under probation. It says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamashita. Yeah, that happened. Nope. What if I did? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. You're more hot blooded than you look. You spend time with quite an interesting group. Yusuke Kitagawa and Haru Okumura? Oh. The more friends, the better, right? Yeah. Totally Sorry suspicious. Sorry to taking your time. You're free to go now. Oh, that's it. Nice. Oh, I almost forgot. There's oh. just one more thing I have to ask you. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are associated with this school? Maybe. Is that really true? I hope not. Ooh. Is that really true? We won't know for certain unless we investigate further. Thank you for your time. Your responses will serve as great reference material. Takamaki-san is next. Could you ask her to come in? All right. Oh, bro. Okay, I'm sure we weren't too suspicious there. I got so nervous, I almost stuttered a few times. I thought I was used to police questioning by now, too. Seems we were all asked the same questions. That's how they get you. They do that on purpose, then wait for someone to slip up. I hope you didn't. It was probably fine. Well, I would have been done for if they saw how sweaty my hands were, though. <laughs> to think my name would come up as well. For real. Sounds like we can't take the police lightly, either. Hey, didn't you think that detective guy was scary? Yeah, he was. Seemed normal to me. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, he was kind of scary, I guess. Especially those eyes. It was like they were smiling, but not. What? Sorry for all of this. It's because of my sister. That's not true, Mako-chan. It's not as though I hadn't predicted this would happen. But now that it's become reality, I'm unsure of what to do. We need to make sure we don't draw suspicion and work to clear our names. Right. It ain't your fault, Makoto. I'm gonna try to see how far along this investigation really is. I'm worried about the police too, but as of now, anyone in this city could be a mole. They were so popular too. Haru, can I ask you to search your father's belongings for clues about a possible culprit? I... I know it may be tough on you. No, it's okay. Now isn't the time for me to look away. As for everyone else, you need to be cautious of how you spend your time at school. <laughs> She's looking directly at us. Okay, we'll be careful. So, I've decided to have you three second years join me on the school festival executive committee. Why? It will allow us to gather without drawing suspicion. Plus, trying to blend in will only do the opposite. Ah. Uh... Fine. Nice. I agree. The more time I have to kill, the more time I'll spend worrying about all this stuff. No matter what happens, I don't want to regret my decisions. Don't jinx it! <laughs> it would be no surprise if they came directly to our homes for questioning. They showed up at your school after all. I should remain cautious. For now, the best option is to stay on the defensive. But we won't make progress at this rate. Let's try and figure out who the real culprit is somehow, okay? Of course. <laughs> no. You know something? <laughs> okay, we're ready. Oof. I hope we can meet up with some guys. <sighs> this is bad. Someone totally framed us. Man, still nothing, huh? So bad. I guess we can call our Kawakami to come over again. <sighs> yeah, let's do it. Yep. Hello again. Keep making us that coffee. Better than nothing. And I'm just gonna work out again. I'm just gonna continue the day. Thank you, Kawakami. Let's keep going to the 22nd. Oh, here we yes. go. I have another suggestion. Call for the arrest of the Phantom Thieves, then mobilize the police. The rest will go as you mentioned. <laughs> oh, you Still. I'm truly amazed at the atrocious methods you come up with. Truly evil man behind that phone. 25%. I'm just used to it at this point. 
sad, but still, I'm used to it. I wonder what kind of people the culprits are. Probably some idiots with a misguided sense of justice. Look, can they just arrest these guys already? Special Investigations is on it. I'm sure they'll be caught soon. What kind of people are they? I want to see what they look like. Oh boy. Everyone just wants to know. Oh, uh, what's going on? I totally froze up when the cops talked to me. I bet they consider me a suspect now. How much longer are they going to do this? We should be busy preparing for the school festival right now. Why'd the school decide to have the festival so late anyway? I mean, changing the date just because our school's all over the news? Moving it to next Tuesday only makes more work for us. We will be able to invite friends from our schools now that we're holding the festival on a weekday. It'll also be an inconvenience to anyone we already invited. And what about the post-festival party? Will there be enough people for the student sharing special? Uh, it's gonna be a real weird festival with morale so low. Oh well, it's the fan of these year. Is that Sudoku? What is this? Total count for each column in this magic square. Or whatever, I'm just gonna guess 34. Nope. I don't even, that I don't know what that was. I don't think it was Sudoku. Whatever. Not important. So what do we gotta do as the school festival's exec committee? I'll need some help with the questionnaires. What questionnaires? The one regarding who people want to see as the guest of honor. All right, that thing they do every year. You mean how those lame guests come to a panel, right? The festival's dates are changed because of the situation. We need to hurry and tally the results. Come to the student council room once classes are over. Ugh, that's so dang boring. Don't be like that. It's so we can meet up without standing out. Let's do what we can at the moment. I'm making sure to work hard at home. But you do that all the time. I can look stuff up. So did you find anything, Haru? About that. No good, huh? I'm sorry. I'll rouse suspicion if I ask too many detailed questions. No worries. I'll manage on my end somehow. We're counting on you. I can't go, but message me if anything happens. I will leave this to you guys. My apologies, but I cannot be of much help in this situation. Alright. Just more... More work. No more playing. Damn it. We don't have time to be doing crap like this. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? Goro Akechi. Oh, Akechi. This one too. Akechi. They're mostly the same over here as well. Everyone's so eloquent when they can be anonymous. It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. You came to help us count these, right? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? Take this seriously. Just relax, Ryuji. I'm actually tired. Take this seriously. We're gathering information too. You know, like uh, online and stuff. I guess that's one way of saying it. Oh, look here. This ain't good. Criminal profiling? The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm-up? Uh. <laughs> uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. God, this is so effing stupid! Damn it! Warm up is so crazy. Yeah, we've been warming up for a couple months, and now we're we're gonna go on a killing spree. Sounds about right to me. We have the results. First place is Goro Akechi. Mm. What? Akechi? What are you so surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time. <laughs> Seriously? Not some singer or an idol? It's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? We don't have to get him. <laughs> people will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little more time to think about who to ask. That reminds me. How is Futaba-chan doing? She seemed like she was looking into something on her own. Has she told you anything? No. Nope. Your guess is as good as mine. Not a word. I'm worried. Let's leave it to her. 
Yes, You're not confidence. gonna get arrested because the police tracked her down, right? That's the last thing we need now. Even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her own investigation. I hope she finds something. She's our, our hope again. Our only hope. Hey. Oh. In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. <gasps> what? Did I hear you correctly? He believes in us. But Akechi-san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. After this conference, Akechi-san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change? Change of heart? No, we didn't do that. I'm super stuck on my Okumura investigation. Seriously? Even you're having trouble with this stuff? What should we do? Let's meet up and discuss our options as soon as possible. Tomorrow? The earlier the better, right? Though, I still haven't come up with anything myself. It said two heads are better than one, so I can only imagine what eight heads may produce. That's a good way of thinking. It's totally an Inari idea. <laughs> okay, let's do everything we can right now. Even if it means crossing some dangerous bridges. Considering how far we've come, we can't be particular about our methodology. What are you staring at your phone like that for? Uh, oh, are you going through a breakup? Uh, <laughs> pretty much. That's not it. It's a secret. Nah. Yeah, pretty much. You're trying to show off. <laughs> Don't get cocky, kid. By the way, you haven't been causing any trouble, have you? I heard the police showed up at your school. I no need to worry. Eh, let them come. It's nothing about me. Yeah, nothing about me. As long me. as you're not getting involved. Of course. <sighs> well, fine. Yes, he trusts us. It's for your own good, I guess. Oh, hello, sir. What is he doing in here? Oh, because we're free today. <laughs> yeah, the Goro or Catchy jump scare is crazy. Uh, but it looks like, yeah, he came to us today. That's awesome. Maybe that's the game saying, hey, bro, you need to hurry it up. Oh, jeez, I will, I will. So this encounter with Goro is very specific. To get the really good ending with him, we need to, uh, it says, remain loyal to the Phantom Thieves. So whenever we answer questions, we got to stay loyal, whatever that means in this context. So, whew. But before we do that, let's do our affinity reading so we can get a deeper connection with Akechi. Please think of someone you want to become closer with. Goro Akechi, Justice Confidant. 5k, go ahead. We do need to go into Momentos, get our money up. Here we go. But it'd be good with Jihaya because she has our fortune reading, so she'll give us a lot of money. She is apparently one of the best confidants in the game i did a little research as well of course and uh, i know what each confidant gives you and so uh, i've decided that jihai is very important for us in this run or just in general for persona 5 so let's do that hmm. boom catch you we're ready for you your feelings should have reached the other person hmm. i bet you can deepen your friendship even further now well that's all for today i hope it was helpful Thank you, what do you think? I hope you're happy with your fortune. I look forward to your next visit. Alright, and I think we can ask to make coffee as well while we talk to Akechi. Is that possible? So we can always, every single night, we can always call her over to make coffee hey. for us. Oh my goodness, mm. I should have been asking her to do this forever now. Yep. Make sure you close up. Oh she, he, he's leaving? Oh don't leave. Unless we can meet up with him later. Does that mean we'll have to stay in the LeBlanc? Wait. Okay. Wait, where did he go? Can I still meet up with him? <laughs> Why did you leave, Akechi? 
Oh no, did I lose it? Did I mess it up? Oh, he's gone. He's actually gone. No way. He's gone. What? Okay, so for tonight, he has to stay here. Okay, we gotta go back in time. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is pretty cool. So I was going around to get some more protein, and because it's October, it's decorated in October. It's pretty cool, like Halloween themed. Pretty dope. But cool attention to detail. But I don't think we can buy any protein. Aside from the basic protein. I'm trying to buy moist protein. Oh, it's everywhere. That's so cool. But yeah, I think it's only rainy days is when they sell it. Oh, well. Ooh, a new book about sports. Okay, cool. Something we can do. Guys, look what I just found. Liquid mercury. Oh, we can only buy one. Dang it. I thought we were going to be able to buy as much as we wanted. But you know what? It's one step closer. Even though we're going to get like a million once we unlock Okobra's uh, mementos area. Alright, let's talk to Akechi. I accidentally denied him because I skipped this beginning part and he left. <laughs> so it's a good thing I saved right before I talked to him. Welcome home, Arado-kun. I hope you don't mind that I'm intruding on your home again. I expect we've both had a long day. I was out until now with work, but I think I finally could take a break. You're not planning on anything too strenuous tonight, are you? Not much. Then perhaps we can talk over some of Boss's coffee. Not that I'm complaining, but if you two are so tired, maybe you could use a bath more than a coffee. I mean, there's a bathhouse right there. No, wait, we're gonna go to a bathhouse? A bathhouse? That doesn't sound too bad. Wanna come with me, Aranoku? I'd appreciate it if you could show me the way. I feel like I can come closer and bond with girl. It's the plan. We gotta do it and stay loyal. Oh, really? If that's the case, I suppose I'll take you and boss up on that suggestion. Let's go. Ah, this feels wonderful. It's been a while. So relaxing. Seeing you here is weird. A while, huh? So relaxing. Yes. It brings back memories. I spent a lot of time in these when I was young. So, of course, these days I'm the detective prince. But my family situation was, well, complicated. By the time I was old enough to realize it, my father was already gone. My mother was all I had. My mother worked at a nightclub. Whenever she had to bring a man home, she'd send me off to the local bathhouse. That was horrible of her. You've been through a lot. Ooh, it's in the past. I have no reason to blame her either. The only one who deserves blame is my father. The worthless, degenerate excuse for a man who abandoned my mother. I wanted to force him to finally give her the apology he owes her, but that's no longer possible. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean for our conversation to get so depressing. Actually, are you alright? I know the hot water can make people dizzy. This is nothing. I'll stay until you're ready. Are you okay? <laughs> Ooh. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm just getting warmed up. Don't go overheating now. I wouldn't want you to collapse on my account. Oh. Okay, there's more. Mm. Ah, that's that refreshing. Nice. These really taste the best when you're just out of the bath. Oof, I think I feel a little lightheaded. Oh, no, same. I'm just fine. Guess I win. Ooh, same. Maybe he'll like that. Oh, he really liked that. Haha, <laughs> I thought so. Your face is bright red, you know. Mm. This is the first time I've ever taken a bath like this. I've never told anyone else about my family situation either. I wonder why I told you. Curious indeed. Because we get along. Because we're similar. Ooh. Because we're similar. <laughs> Ooh. Now that you mentioned it, maybe we are pretty similar deep down. We're both victims of the adult who unfairly impacted our lives. I think you're right. I don't know about that. Can I put clothes on? <laughs> I think you're right. Mm. Yes. I'm even... Ooh, nice. Drink up. I'm even more sure of that after having talked to you. Then again, this probably isn't a conversation we should be having naked. Let's get dressed, shall we? I feel like my bond with the catching is going deeper. Okay, strange. Six. Hmm. Remain loyal to the Phantom Thieves. I don't understand. Maybe it's that the phone call, you know? All right. But level six, awesome. Two mm. more to go. My skin feels like it's radiating heat. Next time, let's keep the competition out of the bath. Best to save it for the base, right? What? Though we should always see who changes faster. First to leave wins. 
Are you ready? <laughs> this guy. Goodbye then. Well, I'll see you later. Okay. The phone call. Maybe this is it. Stay true. Hey, between the delicious coffee and the bath, I really managed to relax. So thank you. It's nice to spend the day as Goro Akechi for once, rather than the Detective Prince, you know? I don't know if it's because of the whole Prince image, but everyone seems to think I'm some brilliant prodigy. It's really nothing like that, but people always seem to misunderstand. If they saw how I was acting today, perhaps they'd say I wasn't acting like the Detective Prince. True, they'd probably love it. My bad, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, they probably love it. <laughs> I suppose there's a certain appeal to that gap, isn't there? But I suppose you're the only one who sees that side of me. Nobody else particularly needs to, anyway. Honestly, though, I just can't figure you out, no matter how I try. You and I have common ground in some aspects, but in others, we're totally opposites. It's intriguing. The more I get to know you, the more it makes me think. I wonder why that is. Uh, now I'm veering into strange territory. I should let you go for now. See you. Huh. Okay. I guess I was loyal to the Phantom Thieves. I don't know. Come on. Bring it more down. Okay. Nice. It hasn't gone down. That's good. I guess we're stuck at 25. At least we have some loyal people. What does the detective think he's doing? He's just trying to get popular, isn't he? He wants to stand out. What? Now they don't like him? Just hurry up and arrest the Phantom Thieves already. I'm curious. It seems like he knows something. I bet he found out some really juicy secret. Hmm. Well, we didn't mention the Phantom Thieves at all, so I think we're Makoto, good. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Oh no. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking Akechi-kun. Oh. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous, but without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network, and I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble. And the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite Akechi-kun? We're gonna have to. Should be fine. If you're sure about this, I'll leave it to you. Should be fine. Let's do it. Okay then. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has gotta be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on, how are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. Oh, I do. Actually, I do. I've got his number. <laughs> For real? Could you send that my way, please? Nice. I'll contact him right away. Call him. Call I'll him say, in here right now. I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel. Nothing more. Mm, intel. Nice. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec. Didn't he say he wasn't going to do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we going to do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it no matter what. No matter We're what. We're counting on you, Makoto. Ooh, one more day, or no, two more days until it's time for the festival. Who would have thought we'd end up relying on Akechi? I mean, we kind of need him for the story. But is anyone going to meet up with us? Is Akechi available today? Wednesdays and Saturdays? Dang it, Akechi. Dang it, Akechi. It's a Sunday. Yesterday was a Saturday. That's why he was here. 
But at least we can go out, so let's see what we can do. Ooh, look what I found. For expert level craftsmen, improved skills for making infiltration tools. I will take that. Thank you very much. Got an upgrade. So we can make more tools now. Oh, there's a new toy in the claw machine. Wow. Let's go. Grab it right now. Oh, first try. Let's go. Nice going. Easy peasy. All right. Out of here. Okay, looks like we can what hang out with the girls. Today? All right, time to name the location. Drusine, you do the honors. Now. Listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is an odd feature of the city where slaves attend to the needs of visitors. Apparently, the slaves in this camp refer to visitors as master, and their behavior can be controlled to some degree. Oh, the maid cafe is literally right here. I wonder how this compares to our devotion for our own master. This could make a strong example for the inmate. Does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. Hmm. <sighs> that thing comes to mind. It appears you're unaware of such a location. Are you really working hard at your rehabilitation? If you don't know the place, then you'd better find it quick. We've heard it exists in an area where the entire town is apparently constructed from electricity. Should you search there, you will most likely find it eventually. Report back to us the moment you find it. Got it? It's literally right here. It's just because I haven't gone in before? Is that why? Okay, I guess we can walk in. Sure. Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's see what it looks like in here. Whoa. <laughs> the atmosphere here is kind of cute in a cloying way. Oh my goodness. Welcome home. Welcome home, Master. I'm Clara, your clumsy maid. My goodness. <laughs> oh, Master, is this your first time here? Yes, embarrassingly so. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy you came. This is your home, so please relax. Oopsie, I almost forgot to inform my first time visitor. How clumsy of me. We offer stamp cards here. If you collect 20 stamps, you can get a special item from us. You get one stamp per 1,000 yen spent. It would make me so happy if you'd collect a lot of them. So, what will your order be? Mm, relaxing coffee. What is this? With love? Even a clumsy maid can make this super easily. What is this stuff? Topple with the cream. I guess I'll buy the most expensive thing. Comes with free ketchup art. Ooh, a sincere omelet. A love pancake. Ooh, hot tea. Relaxing coffee. A sincere omelet. Maybe too much for a clumsy maid. Ooh. So she is clumsy. Might be hard for a clumsy maid. Even a clumsy maid can make this easily. Okay, I guess we'll go with the hot tea. This might be hard. Okay. She might actually ruin the other two things. So I don't think Absolutely. we have those yet. An Oho tea, correct? As you wish, master. Hey. <laughs> hey. This is pretty overwhelming. All the pink hurts my eyes. It really does. Oh, she did it. Here you go. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Here is your relaxing coffee. No. Huh? Hold on a second. Did you order tea? Oh, oh my goodness. Sorry about that. That's not right. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. But it has the same amount of love in it. Is it really not okay? It's fine. Go fix it. <laughs> Oh shoot, I don't know what to do here. Go fix it. Oh, very well, master. Hey. Oh, we got guts. Be strict even to a cute maid, huh? You got some real guts. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. So we can choose kindness or guts, I guess. I don't know how this works. Mm. Huh, mm. that sure was unique. Either way, I think you learned how to get people to like you. Okay, what did we get, kindness? Maybe charm. It is charm. Hmm. Oh, here she comes again. Oh, master, sorry I'm sorry that. for messing up today. But your strictness showed me how reliable you really are, Master. Since this is your first visit, I'll give you a stamp card. Better give me five. Let's see. Every Saturday is our May Day, where you can get four additional stamps. I highly recommend you visit us then. Today, you got two, leaving you with a total of two stamps. Take care. Have an amazing rest of your day, Master. I'll be waiting patiently for your next visit. Okay. Interesting. We really got nothing out of it. But here's our real maid right Hi. here. She made us some real, real coffee. Real good coffee. See you later. Dang. Interesting. I did not think that was how we were going to spend our night. We just got 1% lower. Good morning. Oh, Kasumi. Um, Senpai, well... have you been sleeping well? You look kind of tired.
It might not be my place to ask, but are you okay? I'm fine. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean by that? No. Uh, never mind. It's nothing. That reminds me. Tomorrow is the school festival, isn't it? Is your class finished with preparations? It feels kind of nice working with everyone to put all the things together. I hope we all have a fun time tomorrow. Well, I'm going to do some training today, so please excuse me. All right. I guess we do kind of look tired. I saw his eyes for once. Hey. You hear who we're getting for our guest this year? Oh, you mean Akechi, right? I kind of saw that coming. Everyone I know voted for him. Did he say he wasn't going to make any more appearances, though? Why did he agree to come here? Oh, he agreed. It probably has to do with the Phantom Thieves. Wasn't Akechi going around saying how evil they were before? Oh, yeah. That proves they're connected to our school somehow, then. Hey, you're right. Maybe he'll tell us some stuff about the case. No way I'm going to miss the panel this year. Mm. Huh. They just say whatever they want with no thought. But for now, we'll just need to endure it. At least until we can get some more intel. Okay. Ooh. We got a Monday. Today is Monday. Ooh. Oh. He's going to teach us something. Uh, lack of... Oh, mm. sh I was trying to go for lack of sleep. That was probably the right answer. Something about forgetfulness. Oh, the grades. Yes, how did you do? Dang, I'm dead. Hey, look at that. Look who got the top score. I wonder what score I got. I'm top of the class. Hey. That's amazing. Everyone's going to have their eyes on you now. Nice. And that's a good thing, too, because it'll give us more points when we're with our confidants, in a way. I think with just our members, though. So, yeah, it's very important until the next exam. Sweet. Got a little achievement as well. More texting. What do we got? Any word from Akechi? Nothing. What? They just said he was coming. But tomorrow is the start of the school festival. Will this be okay? If Akechi-kun declines our offer, we won't have a guest. Huh? That's what you're worried about? I appreciate the concern, but it will be fine. I just need to get Akechi-kun to agree with this somehow. Yep. What's that jerk up to anyways? He hasn't done anything since he said he was going to go into hiding. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstances surrounding the school festival to him again. Hopefully he can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Hmm. Okay. Please give us time. Ah, oh, evening already? No. Oh, Kedji. Again. Welcome home. Hello, our maid. Honey, I'm home. Why are you here? Honey, I'm home. <laughs> You're back awfully late. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shido? Oh, he knows him? It doesn't surprise <gasps> me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. I wonder if Kay recognizes this guy. Oh, <gasps> that man's voice. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking. And one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. Can this guy stop? <laughs> Rampant <laughs> political scandals. Thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. Okay, you're not going to clap this time, right? Yep, there he is. We ran into him at our restaurant. The buffet night. I feel I've met that man somewhere before. Not just there. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. <laughs> it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're standing too. <laughs> uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. I'm not worried or anything. 
You're just blocking the store entrance. That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. <laughs> what is this American doing here? Don't you here? think, boss? Sorry, wasn't listening. <laughs> Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. Don't like politicians? True nature? You on the thieves' side? <laughs> true nature? If these people attack others with no remorse, why would they make a teacher and an artist apologize? Mm, exactly. Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? If this Okumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only change the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. Ooh, join us. But they are innocent. Are you a fanboy? <laughs> but they are innocent. I'll say that. <laughs> I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met. I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Oh, hmm. that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy and... <gasps> yes? Ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the yes, offer. Yes, let's go. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. We didn't even finish it. <laughs> I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. Yeah, Pro really loves us. That's crazy. It's festival night. <laughs> that kid was going on about some real complicated stuff. He's probably a fair bit smarter than you, huh? Hey, that's not very nice. I got top of the class for your information. Oh, I didn't notice I had gotten a response from Akechi-kun. He accepted the lecture invitation. Well done, I heard. Now, well done. Thank you. The first step is done, at least. Either way, the same issue is what we do next. The lecture is on the afternoon on the second day, yes? Wait, you're coming to our school festival? It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. Can you afford that distraction? How's your studying going? Decently. Incidentally, will that counselor be at the festival as well? Oh, Dr. Maruki? Probably. I see. Finally, I shall witness his skills for myself. Perhaps I should prepare a gift that say first impressions are everything. I don't know if he'll even be there. If anything gets confirmed, I'll drop you a line. Much obliged. You want to come too, Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun. Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all walk around together tomorrow. That sounds good. Let's not. <laughs> That might be a bad idea, but whatever. At a time like this, this is a perfect chance for us to relax, though. Haru, um, are you sure you're okay? This seems a little soon. I am, thank you. I've always dreamed of walking around my school festival with friends. Oh, I suppose if you say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoying our time there, too. Thanks, Haru. It's my pleasure. Aw, oh, she's too sweet. Anyways, anyone important, at least, that I need to say? Yo. The way he's actually asking us. How did exams go? Perfect. Oh. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Then maybe you didn't need this. Oh well, take it. What is it? The blonde charm. What? <laughs> I made it myself. It's got my finest coffee beans on it. I wanted to give it to you before the exams, but well, you still have more tests. Don't let up on the finals. What? He's giving us gifts? That's so cool. Um... What was that though? Let's see. Must be an accessory. Oh well, we have a lot of things. I bought so many things. Jeez. I don't even know what they do. Oh, here it is. No sleep contains boss finest coffee beans. <laughs> Thanks, boss. You're the best. It's a thought that counts. I'm not gonna use it, but it's pretty cool to collect. All right, now that we know about the Maid Town, can we finally bring them to it? Hmm. Could be the maid cafe in Akihabara. What'll you do? So what'll it be? You mean the maid cafe? Mm hmm. What is it that makes a cafe maid? Is it the slaves? I want to find out. Guide me, inmate. We shall do just that, inmate. Take us there immediately. Well, lucky for you, it's right here. Oh, oh my gosh! Are they old enough to be here? So this is a slave camp. The decor is bizarrely cheery for such a horrid place. 
I'm surprised one is operating in the heart of the city like this. I had originally thought such places would need to hide in the shadows, far from public scrutiny. Welcome home! Oh no, it's you again. <laughs> Welcome home, master. Are you addressing me? You are surely mistaken about who is your master. We've come here to observe fully, Justine. Don't worry. We'll free her when we're finished. <laughs> hey, you. Yes, master? Tell me, why are you grinning like that? You're a slave. <laughs> huh? A slave? Whatever do you mean, master? Maybe you're ordered to smile, but what? Do you lack a will of rebellion? Or are you just naturally submissive? Well, master, uh, I don't know. <laughs> what is with this insufferable... Hey, inmate, do you think you get proper rehabilitation here? You get used to it? You don't like it? I don't know. <laughs> what was that? You looking to get executed? Caroline. Calm yourself, Caroline. Aw, oh, aren't you just the cutest? <laughs> Watch it. You think laughing at your master is proper discipline? <gasps> oh, now I get it. You're here for the discipline service. Is that it? What? Now listen up, you little shrimp. Oh my goodness. What? Quit gawking at me and order already. You want to get jabbed with one of those tiny little shrimp forks? Out with it. She, she's throwing off the yoke of oppression. What did I just say? Order. Or do you need a menu? If you can even read. Is that it? Widow baby can't weed a menu? Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, just the usual service, actually. Let's take it down a notch. Please don't harass the kids. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, was I overdoing it? Whoopsie daisy. I got a bit caught up there. Here's the menu. Oh my goodness. What's wrong with her? Her mood changes in an instant. <sighs> Such versatility. Could she possess the potential for the power of the wild card? Just like Kay. Well, never mind that. We are to focus on the matter at hand. What could this be? Love pancake? What do you put in it? Nothing suspicious, I hope. Love, poison, it's a surprise. Love. They put love in it? How is that possible? Love isn't a physical substance. Have they been scamming you here? Let's order something else. In that case, let's go with the sincere omelette. Oh my goodness, that's the hardest one. As you wish, master. Ooh. Sorry about that. Oh no, I messed it up. Please forgive me, master. Are you joking? How? Dare you! Fix this right now! You can beg for forgiveness once I receive a perfectly sincere meal. But but I filled it with love. <laughs> Damn it! Don't even try that fake cry act on me. Fix it! Double time! I'm not letting you off until it's right. N no, I, I can't. I tried so hard, but I'm just so clumsy. I even practiced a ton and... and oh my goodness. Uh, hey. How could you make this poor slave cry like that? <sighs> what? F fine. I'll say I'm sorry. Look, sl I mean, maid. I'm sorry. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Just stop crying. <laughs> you will? Yay. Thank you so much. Would you care for some old hot tea to go with it? I also recommend the relaxing coffee. I promise to pour all my heart into making them for you. Fine. Just bring whatever. <laughs> this has been so tiresome Even the people being served have to behave a certain way I struggle to comprehend why it's so complicated And yet, people here are willing to pay good money to partake in this master servant charade The lengths that humans will go to hold positions of power Their desires truly appear to be limitless Anyway, we hereby deem your assignment complete Here is your reward Oh, they finished the omelet Nice give us all this I feel as though we saw a side of humanity today that was new to us as a matter of fact this isn't a new event to us at this point we do seem to witness curious new facets of humanity with each special assignment we undertake most intriguing indeed Listen but the up. only thing that matters to you is your rehabilitation and don't you forget it of course of course back to the velvet room I wonder if this ever ends. Oh, another 1%. I wonder if Carly and Justine's little assignments ever end. But here we are, the festival. Ooh, look at all of us. The festival Rolling up, to ready success. to get arrested. Festival seems to be a success. 
There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Duh. <laughs> and a catch is coming. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. Oh, yes. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Have fun. Go eat. Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no set <laughs> rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. Ryuji's right. Just enjoy yourself. We need to stay on our toes. Yeah, Ryuji's right. Um, hanging out isn't precisely the focus of the school festival. More importantly, it's possible that both your names have come up during the investigation. Dang. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. <laughs> now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... Yes, be mindful. You seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone and eat at the refreshment stands. <laughs> this will be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands then? Yes, let's do it. We need to stay calm. Let's go. All right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good. From what I've heard. <laughs> I know a great one. Follow me. Let's go. School festival is so cool. Oh, what is this? This is the place. Made takoyaki? <gasps> takoyaki. And more maids. <laughs> New Can't have enough. I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. Oh, it's hers. <laughs> it's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. Well, unless this is a, a undercover agent right here. Oh, nice. In a we whole place. a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. <laughs> Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? What happened to the maid atmosphere? <laughs> there are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they... I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? <laughs> well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. Mm. I'm sorry. We're out of cod, bro. What? Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. What? Catching squid? That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. Oh we didn't put goodness. too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> you, you're making a scene. Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. Sounds we'll good enough. That, please. <laughs> this will take a little time. <laughs> uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. That's I right. Kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. Heck no. That is possible. Is the takoyaki done yet? That is possible, let's say that. We won't let that happen. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechi-kun is planning. Oh, all done. Thank you for the wait. Ooh, it's fresh made. 
Lies. I heard a microwave go off. <laughs> well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Oh no. It's got wasabi, huh? Uh, oh. one of it's them's obviously obvious. red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means it's spicy. It's like going for the obvious one is manly. Is that so? Oh, we're gonna. Well, I prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are misshapen. <laughs> oh, aren't you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Do you want to go for the red one? Me? No, thank you. I'll take it. Think it'll be spicy? I'll do it. Let's go. Ooh, impressive as always. Oh, everyone's oh. all here. Oh no, he found us. It's a good game, guys. Got us all caught. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. Oh, is he gonna eat the red one? I'm going to have one of these. <gasps> Oh, it's over. The special one. Let's just call this my performance fee. Oh no. <laughs> it's fine. Hmm. It's quite. <laughs> it's <laughs> over for him. Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> my throat. <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh, my stomach. It burns. Dang! It hit that fast. Are you okay? Do you need water? Looks like he's not gonna be able to make it tomorrow. Uh, 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 oh my gosh, bro, I'm shaking. Fine. I just love uh, spicy, spicy stuff. <laughs> hey, does he sound broken to you? <laughs> well then, I'll, I'll see you uh, <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, play it cool. See you later. <laughs> He ate it for us. Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Mm hmm. It's like he knows that we're the fan of thieves. Everyone? You're here just imagining things. Mm hmm. Nope. Yep, we're done for. So, I guess we got through all of it, okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously? I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. Huh. I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. <laughs> I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. What? Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with Akechi-kun again tomorrow, after all. True, true. I have to agree. What will his next move be? <laughs> He's not gonna make it. Oh? After today. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Yusuke's missing. What? Uh, where'd he wander off to? Always doing whatever he pleases. Think he's still checking out all the festival stalls? Let's head back. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. This is Yusuke we're talking about. Let's head home. Oh no, he's gonna be taken in for investigation. Oh, um, oh yeah, he wanted to talk to Maruki, but could he even do that? He's not even a student. I don't know. Let's see. Excuse me, are you Doctor Takudo Maruki? Correct. Uh, 
Yes. Uh, oh, uh, yes. I. Ooh, you're getting real close. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm a student in the Fine Arts Division at Kosei High. I do apologize for interrupting your day, but ever since Ryuji and An first spoke of you, I've grown quite intrigued. Now I wish to speak with you as well. Ryu- Oh, Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san. Quite. Well, I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. You're here about the counseling, correct? Indeed. Oh my goodness, correct. Now, teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into an endless abyss. Oh my hold goodness. on. Whoa, whoa, hold on there. How should I put this? Your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I suspect there's a huge misunderstanding about what I do. I apologize. I simply couldn't contain my excitement. Would you permit me to witness your counseling skills in action? That's not really allowed. <laughs> how about it? Oh, but how about this? Why not try out my counseling yourself instead? Me? Mm hmm. Of course, there's no charge. All you'll have to do is chat with me for a bit. Well then. Very well. You and I shall go head to head. Head to head. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think happens in counseling, but uh, there won't be any of that. I see, so you are Madarame sons. It's in the past. How curious. I never imagined counseling to be like this. Well, uh. Well, I'd say this is less counseling and more about building a rapport. When someone first comes to see me, we always start with them telling me a bit about themselves. Hmm. Uh, a method of self-reflection that relies on speaking with another person so as to sort through one's own emotions. That's rather similar to the internal cross-examination I perform when working on my art. There really shouldn't be any cross-examining in a proper counseling session, though. I just do my best to guide patients in a positive direction so they can improve their lives. At the very least, I talk them through their problems so they can make the correct choices for themselves. I see. However, if you're the one leading them to their conclusions, are they truly making the choices for themselves? Isn't that just submitting to another person's will? In all honesty, I'm sure there are people out there who think that. But life in this world confines people to certain frames of mind sometimes, and without them even realizing it. If I can help shift the weight off their shoulders and free their minds, I believe the results are worth it. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much for speaking with me. This has been a most valuable experience. Oh, yes. Before you go, Kitagawa-kun, what would you say is your greatest wish in life at the moment? Would it be success as an artist? I... No, that's not it. The only desire I have for my art is for it to improve through my own efforts. I see. Then what would you wish for? Oh no, don't mention the Phantom Thieves. I would wish for the world to see my mother's painting for the masterpiece that it is, no matter how briefly. And if at all possible, I would also wish to meet a wonderful master, one who would take me in and guide my brush with care. Hmm. Oh, ah, I see. All right, thank at you. At any rate, I must be going now, so please excuse me. I hope we meet again someday. But your takoyaki must be all cold now. Evening time. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to go anywhere. Tomorrow's the moment of truth. A catchy's panel. Apologies for suddenly disappearing like that. The legend of the lost Inari has come to an end. Where the heck were you? Did you seriously get lost? I saw a man who resembled Dr. Maruki, so I went to see him. So he was there? Did you go to his counseling? Yes, it was certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I think I'd like to go to another session. Try not to cause him any trouble, alright? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? Yeah, I'm at home. <laughs> Are you still at school, Yusuke? No, I just got back to the dorm. I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Is that unusual? Tomorrow is Akechi's panel, after all. An early night means he'll be able to concentrate tomorrow. That's true. We'll need to stay focused tomorrow. We have to stay calm, no matter what he says. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Mm. It's really up to Makoto to get as much information as we can from Akenji. We'll have to make sure we don't miss anything. Mm. 
So she'll be asking the questions, getting all the juicy details, and we have to listen and cross-examine him and see what he really means in his answers. But I think that is going to be... Oh, wait. Nope, I lied. We have a photo. Photo time. This is when we were at the food stand. Oh, look at them. Man, even yakisoba looks high class when Haru is eating it. Please, you're exaggerating. I think this is my first time having yakisoba from a food stand, though. It was more delicious than I'd imagined. It is. It wasn't the instant stuff, but still good. Yeah, I don't know why, but food from a stall is always weirdly tasty. Speaking of, where are the pictures of us on? Huh? You got pics of us too, right? How about the one you took of Kei's yakisoba with the big red mountain of ginger? Oh, no, that one went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. Oh, man. <laughs> but let's see, can we go anywhere? No, we cannot. Ugh. The days are coming closer, but we are also very close. Sadly, we did not get to see Maruki at all this entire part. We did see Akechi one time. Hmm, that sucks. Just one time. It's because this game, man, we're all in the story right now. We don't have free time to go do what we want. But number six is done. Rank six is done, so we just have seven and eight left with Akechi. I don't know, I heard that 7 and 8 is locked until we beat the next palace, which is Seiz. And then Maruki is just get done with him. I don't know, these guys that I've been finding, they're hit or miss most of the time. Because it told me that I need to remain royal to the Phantom Thieves for rank 6, but he didn't ask me anything about the Phantom Thieves. We just went to the bathhouse. So I don't know what's going on anymore. But I think as long as we have rank 8, we should be fine. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we get to see Akechi's panel real soon and get the juicy detail that we need. And after that, we better get some free time so we can rank up our confidants. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next part. Peace out, fam.